Kendall, you look exhausted. Have all those football matches you've reported on finally got to you? Not really. It's actually a great job. I see. Well, you remember a couple of weeks back you said you really wanted to be a serious reporter. Well, now here's your chance. I'm sending you to the Caribbean to find a missing professor. It's a top story, and I know you won't let me down. Well, huh. did you say the Caribbean? Yes. It seems Professor Caldwell went there recently, but since then, nobody has heard a thing from him. You may remember that uh, he came into the office a few months back, claiming he was onto the biggest archaeological discovery of this century. Chief, I'm happy doing the sports reviews here in snowy England. The Caribbean sounds great, but this is a job for a more seasoned reporter. Isn't there somebody else you could send? Nah, Kendall. I think you're underestimating your talents. I've seen something in you which only the best reporters have. I think it's about time you went on a serious report. You're wasted on the sports section. This assignment will hone your skills. All expenses are paid, and your free use of the company's plane to get you wherever you need to go. You want me to fly in that rust bucket across the Atlantic? Forget it. It's not so bad. Here, take this rough. Have a quick drink before you take off, and you'll be out like a light. You'll find that you'll hold together once in the air. Are you sure you can't get anybody else to do this? I go myself, but I'm working on this ancient languages piece for the next issue. It's fun for an old connoisseur like me, but you wouldn't appreciate it. The Caribbean, hmm. I'm beginning to like the sound of sun-swept beaches and... Bye, Kendall. Go find me that professor. Bye, slave driver. Oh, I mean cheap. And this would be the infamous lady painter of the Caribbean. I think I expected someone different. Excuse me, ma'am, but what are you painting? From here you can only see the fountain, some buildings, and a couple of palm trees. Don't call me ma'am. Call me Judith. Oh, Aunt Judith. World-renowned psychic painter. Okay, Aunt Judith. And what is it that you are painting right now? I'm painting your future. But this is not the time to ask questions. You're a good-looking young man. Don't you have a girlfriend? You're the psychic one. You tell me. It doesn't work that way. Why don't you do something for the old maids of Aunt Judith? Hmm. Okay, sure. What do you want me to do? Go and fill up this little pot with clean water. You see, I can't wash my brushes with this dirty one. Okay, okay, I understand. Well, just give it to me, Aunt Judith, and I'll see that you get some clean water. Good. Thank you. Have you seen a strange-looking English guy around here? Well, he's a scientist and probably came here with a lot of equipment doing some research. If I had seen such a man, I wouldn't have missed a dinner opportunity. I've seen nobody like that. Okay. Thanks anyway. Excuse me, friend. Is it possible to visit the museum? Certainly, if you pay for a ticket. Why did you leave your old wreck right here? Old wreck? This is a classic Mustang. You just can't find these cars anymore. So, how much is an entrance ticket? Two dollars.
This stuff really st There's a motto carved on this shield, Viva the South Wind! The needle points east. The inscription says, Here the pirate Mancusen placed his compass as an everlasting memory of his first heroic boarding. A bit of a megalomaniac, this Mancusen. What could I do with it? It wouldn't look that good in my dining room. What a grim face the pirate Mancusen had. If this portrait is a good likeness, he really was scary. Look, Viva the South Wind. That must be his motto. I can turn it a little, but nothing happened. It doesn't help to pull it. It's stuck in there tight. Look, you can see the curator's rickety old car. It's signed by the chief of the governor's guard. It seems to be a service report. Let's see what's in there. After three days of strict siege, my men managed to penetrate inside the fortress, forcing the barricaded doors. However, inside, there was no sign of Mancusan pirates. They vanished again using means which may resemble sorcery. Hmm, interesting. And this would be the infamous lady painter of the Caribbean. I think I expected someone different. I heard that once there was a pirate called Mancusen sailing from here. Do you know anything about him? Oh, they're old tavern stories. You don't believe that stupid stuff, do you? But what about all the evidence in the castle museum? It's probably all fabricated as a tourist attraction. I don't believe in any of it. I'm no strong man. The rock stays where it is. This rock looks like a good place to sunbathe. I'm no strong man. The rock stays where it is. It's been very worn, and it's got a piece of cloth missing from the one sleeve. What a strange idea the Mexicans had to put a squared hole in the middle of their coin. This seems to be the professor's handwriting. If I can make out this terrible handwriting, I think it reads, maybe Simon is a fool.
but he's strong as a lion. Who is this Simon? With his bare hands, he tore up the headstone from the floor of the church, and under it was the missing key. I can't read anything else but musty passage to an ancient tomb. What a strange lodge to put a square. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. I won't get anything done in this way. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. I won't get anything done. I won't get anything done in this way. I'm wasting time. I won't get anything done in this way. Now it's full of Here's your pot of clean water. Thanks, kid. If you ever need your auntie, you can count on that. You getting some fresh air? What do you want, son? Well, I'm interested in the local sites. I'm a tourist. Well, I'm the man for you. Have you seen an English professor with his assistant around here? You're American, aren't you? Yes. These islands are becoming fashionable for you guys lately. Before, nobody came here, but now... What do you mean? Not too long ago, a strange guy came here. English for sure, and he was looking for something. He was asking a lot of questions. He was looking for trouble, and he found it. Such as? What trouble? What else do you know? I know that you ask too many questions for a tourist. Take a hike. I'm busy. Please, just tell me where he went. It's very important. Who knows? I don't need this hassle. Do you feel like telling me some of the tales about the pirate man Kusin? Tales? This is history. Once the pirates ruled these islands. Mm, interesting. My brother and I, look kid, I got the pirate's tattoo on my arm. There are only two of us in this world that still have it. Me and my brother, Tobias. Also called Black Sheep. Blast him. Well, you don't seem very friendly towards your own brother. That betrayer stole my life savings and ran away with my map to look for Mancusin's treasure. 
I saved every penny to go myself in search of the treasure when I retired. But you see, the last it. Oh, come on, don't think about it. If he finds the treasure, I'm sure he'll send you a check. Show me your tattoo. Cool, isn't it? Only members of the gang could have this tattoo done. A white dolphin with the secret motto. Viva the South Wind. What does it mean? If I tell you, it wouldn't be a secret motto anymore, now would it? That's true. I read a strange letter in the museum. It said that the pirates always managed to escape capture. How do you explain this? Their chief, the famous Mancusin, was the most astute and cunning of all the pirates. Why the most astute? There are some very good stories about him and his voyages. The governor, trying to capture the pirates, turned yellow because of the jaundice he got from being angry. They used to call him Don Canary. <laughs> but how could Mancusin escape every time? This is still a mystery. They used to go inside the fortress, which is now used as the museum, and puff, they disappeared. Whoever tried to reveal their secret was always found hanged by the tongue. Yeah. He wasn't playing around, old man Cousin. Well, you asked me about the English professor. Here's what's left of him. Keep it. It's a souvenir of the dear, curious professor. He lost it while I was taking him and his assistant to the oceanographic ship off the coast of Bermuda. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Excellent. Now the pointer has moved from east to south. Interesting. Let's read it. We are in an unknown and mysterious sea. The compass turns on its own and, in the night, the crew gave the alarm after seeing strange shiny fish around Santa Maria. Our position on the charts, 30 degrees latitude and 70 degrees longitude. I'm sure the professor also read those notes, but why... It's a cabin trunk. A pile of mold. I've no need. For it's probably better not to disturb him. This doesn't make sense at all. Chief, how much were you charged to take me? Look, I've got a map. Nothing. 
Wonderful. Let's go right now. You didn't understand, son. Nothing, because I won't take you there. But your sign says boat tours. If I go out, I want to come back. I took those other guys, too, and I'm not going back. You must be mad to want to go there. I still have some years to enjoy in this life. The professor and his assistant? You've got to tell me what happened to them. Stubborn like you. They went out there, and there they disappeared. Swallowed by the sea. Good for them. You want the same end? Have a nice trip. I'll stay home. Listen, Chief, I've got to go there. I've got money. All you want. It's I'm not going there. There's no... With what? There's only with all without your I'm going to just wait. Yes, I've got you now. Here I am again, and this time I'm not alone. What's that? What do you mean? Don't you recognize him? It's your beloved tweezers. Listen, kid. Either you're colorblind, or you're trying to kid me. This is a very normal crab. My tweezers is white, a rarity. Either you come back with tweezers, or you can forget about your trip. Come on, a crab is a crab. Can't you turn a blind eye? I'll permanently close your eye if you try to kid me again. Come back with tweezers, or don't come back at all. Hi, Aunt Judith. Here I am again. Can you do something for me? You see this crab? Could you paint it white? Paint it white? Oh, sure. What I really need is a little drop of rum. At your age, Aunt Judith, you really shouldn't drink. Tut, tut, tut. You don't want to challenge old Aunt Judith as far as rum is concerned. Listen, Dad. 
I've been raised on rum and with Give me the bottle, and I'll paint that crab paisley if you want. Ah, just what I need. Give it to me. I've painted on canvas, bricks, and even on people before, but never a crab. Here we go, brand new. Leave me now. I've just had a flash of inspiration. And I have no rum left, but I've got a new and improved tweezers. Let's go. Here I am again, and this time, I'm not alone. Oh, tweezers, my friend! Where have you been? What are you waiting for? I can't push it open, and I don't see anything that can. There is a small slot here. Could this be for some kind of key? Something tells me this thing can open the portal. There's some kind of icon, too. This is the black button. Hey, Chief, did I promise you results or what? Good job, Kendall. Did you find the professor? Well, not quite, but I've got something here that might tell us what became of him. Wasting my
your little girl. Hey, what's the weather like up there? You being funny? Look, picking fruit is a very hard job. Leave me alone. I don't have time to talk. Can I hold the ladder for you? It looks dangerous. No, thanks. I don't need any help. Well, this little girl knows what she's doing. What's your name? Polly Jane. And this is Attila, my little cat. Attila? Right now, he's an ordinary... He'll be... Are you from here? Yeah, born a brat. Why don't you come down here for a second and talk to me? No, no, I've got to finish here. It's a nice place. Is that church very old? Yeah, it's medieval. But it's not used anymore. Not for many, many years. Then it must be ghosts at night. Joke about it if you want. But I wouldn't stay a night in there for anybody or anything. The wind through the windows makes strange noises, and inside it's full of tombs. Oh, it's weird. But you made me... Will you stick around until I get back? I don't know. Goodbye, and don't anger the spirit. I think I'll let you work. I'm sorry to disturb you. See ya. Well, goodbye. That has closed the leak. Come on, Carolina. Keep going. Here you go, little kitty. Help yourself. Cats are strange creatures. Now it's purring. Here we go. It's locked. Maybe if I take the door bolt out. It's a strong door. It's locked. Maybe if I take the door bolt out. Professional has a gap by the wall. Maybe there is something behind it. Who knows how many sins have been forgiven in there? Boy, this is heavy. I better make sure I don't drop it on my foot. Wow, this time I really had a great idea. We have a success. It looks like a secret passage. Only one way to find out where it goes.
I could get a hernia doing that. Who knows? I could get a hernia doing that. I don't see anything here I'm interested in. What if the spirits get angry? I'd better leave it alone. I've got a tracing of these hieroglyphics with the white side of this sheet and the ashes in this urn. Nothing I can do. Let's hope I won't be cursed. I don't see anything here I can take. I'm doing everything wrong. Maybe I should take a trip. Perhaps Easter Island has some answers for me. I don't see anything here I can take. Entering a crypt beneath an old church is one spooky thing, but stealing somebody's remains is definitely out of the question. Look, Simon! We have the world beat us. These buttons look interesting. They give me an idea. You see, this button is my button on the planet. Such a list. What a strange object. It's a heavy metal octagon with flat crystals embedded onto each side. I wonder what it is. I'm wasting time. I think that's a useless attempt. I won't get anything achieved this way. Hello! But you don't look 100%. Are you okay? Uh, first things first. How did the last game go? Did we win? Nope. They lost badly. Don't make that face. There are more important things in life. Well, like what? Dead languages, for example. Well, then have a look at this and knock yourself out. I think I'll devote myself to football in future. All this research on the professor will be good for nothing but the garbage dump. You don't have enough faith in yourself, Kendall. Don't give up. I trust your abilities. You deserve more than the sports section. Well, let's have a look here. Yes, interesting. You've discovered something hot. Like what? Some ancient recipe for 
Stegosaurus burgers? Seriously, Kendall, this is a rare copy of an ancient Tuareg dialect. Where on earth did you find it? Under an abandoned... Well, oh, you know, he's a graduate. The reason when you the flight leaves tonight. I'm, I'm sure you... Hello, young woman. I, my name is Rick. He's a very well trapped My boss, the editor. You know, he, stranger, you have his wife Lala in front of you. Why? What do you mean? Not too long ago, the village celebrated for three days and three nights the wedding between Amir and Lala, the daughter of the tribe's chief of the Mbanka. We became a funeral wake. Amir, your husband? Is he dead? You don't understand, stranger. Amir will die tomorrow. Up to the time since I. Do you think that Amir is innocent? My father and swore Amir is innocent. The real he and is now lying. Let me enter the tent. No strangers will ever enter. Please. I don't know you. I can't be sure of what you really want. Let me pray, stranger. An orphan and a widow is asking you to respect her mourning. Well, listen, you must tell me everything you know about your father's death. Where you were, when he was killed, and where you were... You twist the knife in a wound still bleeding. You have to make this sacrifice to save Amir. I'll tell you. I was resting from the fatigue of the wedding ceremony. I was in my father's tent. I was waiting for my husband to take me for the first time to his tent. I have never entered it. Amir was in prison. And we haven't even... Me. Enjoying your meal, my friend? May I interrupt you for a moment? You're already doing it! I'm looking for someone able to translate mysterious writing. I'm willing to pay. Get out of here! Don't you see I'm eating? I have one question before I go. Do you know Prince Amir? Amir is not a prince anymore! What do you mean? After what he did, he doesn't deserve any title. What happened? Ask him. He's the one locked in the fort's prison. And that was three questions. Now get out! Are you the officer in charge of the prisoner? Soldier Narabuff. Bad job, I guess. Hey! Stranger, you don't seem to be with the tour. What are you looking for? Don't you know it's forbidden to talk with soldiers while carrying out their... Sorry. If you have a look, he's locked in the cell, waiting to be hung. Sure, a... Well, new chiefs... Tell me what happened. The chief of the... A rifle shot to the middle of his throat. I was at the... His head was apart from the rest of his body. Later, three women were needed to clean up the blood. Ugh, what a... That's what happened. It's just practicing his shooting around the corner. Couldn't it have been an accident? A nice accident if you inherit the leadership of the tribe. The prince had the right to the succession after the chief... But he couldn't... Can you imagine him... Didn't... It too... What the young... And we get only trouble... Well... Hey, you, can you hear? Who is there? Aren't you tired of tormenting me? No. I'm not one of the guards. I won't hurt you. I can't see anything. They beat me up. Listen, I'm looking for Amir, the prince. You found him. Or at least what's left of him. I understand this is not the best moment to ask you this, but I need your help. My friend, I think there's no one who needs help more than I do right now. But if I can help? Do you know this language? Can you translate it? I'd like to help you, but believe me, I, I can't even see your face. You, there is a man. He can do everything. Why did they treat you like this? It's well, so, just as I thought of And because of this, I, his wisdom, glory. Can 
and you if I very only with I'll go I'll be thankful to you for the rest of my life even if my life should end tomorrow I've got to go Amir I have a job to do here you to leave me to my destiny if I could help you I would believe me Allah watches over you don't despair I'll pray goodbye Excuse me, sir. Yes, stranger. How can I help you? If no orderless, but how about? Your bazaar is really well stocked. You appear to have a wonderful selection of goods. How's business? We've been merchants for seven generations. Our clients are among the most illustrious. Would you like to look around? If looking doesn't cost anything. Of course it doesn't. Would you like a cup of crocodile flavored tea? No, thanks. Here we have spices which you can't find anywhere else in the East and which our women use to poison their husbands. Then, over here, the pewter samovar and here the silver samovar. Ah, they are used for the crocodile tea. Very appreciated among the tourists. What? I see that you have a good... Take one back home with you and they will bring... No. Then bring your mother some spice. Actually... You immediately see a good deal. You're a smart guy. I suggest for you two jars of each of the hundred royal spices. A very good deal. And if you also buy a rug, hit the people. Hit shall I pack it? See? This unfortunate... But like they're absent. Only three coins. Damn. I'm only wasting my time here. Lala, I'm bringing you the sign of my friendship between you and your husband. Look. This is the ring which sealed my marriage. Your husband gave it to me to bring you. You need to trust me, Lala. As Amir gave you this ring, which my father bestowed upon him to seal the... You are... Let me enter the... In this tent, no stranger has ever left his... Pri but you have my husband's ring, and I can go in. But make sure nobody sees... These pieces are useless to me. Several pieces of a pot that has broken. The inside seem to have been covered in some kind of powder. Its size and shape would suggest that it was caused by a bullet. When the murder happened, did you notice something? I was sleeping and dreaming about my husband. Suddenly, a crash awoke me. What was? From the central pole of the tent, a sacred pot of the tribe fell. A pot where the chiefs from generation to generation conserved the colors to paint their faces before a battle. Now I know that... Thank you, Lala. May Allah protect you. Well, look at this. There's a bullet hole. There is a bullet in the pole, and there is a hole in the tent. If I look in the direction of the bullet through the hole, I'll discover where it came from. The top of the fort is just in the line of the bullet's path. I don't think it's a coincidence. heard about the murder of your chief. Good! You can tell it to your grandchildren when you get old. I'd like to know more about it. 
What do you want from the Tuareg tribe, stranger? I'm a journalist working on an assignment in this area. I s- I'm a- if you see- it's- he's- now he's- Thank you, Lala. I'll do everything I can to help you. What? What do you want to tell me? You're a Yes, at least the last time I looked. You don't understand. Let me finish. You're a man, so you've the right to enter the fort where my husband is kept prisoner. So? Take this food to him. The prisoners are fed with a horrible gruel, not fit even for pigs. Amir is only used to eating regal fare. He must be hungry. I'll do it. May Allah protect you. got something better than that horrible brew they give you here. Oh, how can I thank you? It's in... Oh, you could be... Oh, here. Get some strength. Thank you, stranger. You're like a brother. I'd only be wasting my time in that. He looks strange. It's impossible. No, this is not the right way.